Hi, I'm Amy Shannon, and this is Exposed Mobility Impaired Denied. Um, I have other videos, excuse me, I have had other videos where I talked about writing letters to um, various um, government officials um, and chain businesses. Um, some I have received responses from, and some I have not. Um, at first, I wrote emails, and then I did get two responses through email. Um, and then I decided to handwrite letters. So I did that um, and sent them to government officials, senators, congressmen, um, the governor of New York State. Um, I am still doing research, and um, I'm sure there will be more places that will receive letters. Um, and I just kind of wanted to go through well, my section on uh, what the letters were and um, make some comments on how these things um, kind of went about. Um, I uh, will share my PowerPoint presentation, um, which basically um, it allows uh, it's just kind of presentation of letters that I have sent. Um, these letters were sent to government officials as well as chain restaurants and main headquarters. Um, and there are a couple that are not um, uh, a restaurant, such as the Dollar Tree. Um, basically, it's a similar letter I wrote to, um, I had read in a previous um, uh, video um, of, you know, what it says. Um, so I'll put a link in the description of the video. And uh, so this kind of shows the main um, letter that I wrote, and then I had updated it um, when I received more information and I sending it out to new people. Um, this just tells about how I became disabled because of my domestic violence incident, my husband tried to kill me. Um, and the um, implications and the consequences of brain impact injuries and um, what I've had to live with and how things have gotten worse for me. And I have to use a wheelchair when I, or a mobility aid when I leave my building and go out. Sometimes I can walk around uh, my apartment. Other times I have to use a wheelchair. Um, I got a scooter because my son William created a GoFundMe page. I bought a manual wheelchair and until I could save up for an electric wheelchair because there are a lot of hoops to jump through um, for insurance to cover it um, just to get a prescription for that. It was so easy to, when I was getting my walker, I thought it would be similar, but it definitely is not. Eventually, I have to get a better wheelchair, but this is what I have. My mobility aids that I uh, have um, no longer used, I donated to um, a place uh, in uh, Wilton, uh, Wilton, New York. It's called Sale, and they... Um, they use, they take donations of um, all types of aids as long as they're in working order and good condition so they can use them for the people who need, need them. Sometimes they're temporary. So uh, I had my son and his friend deliver those to sale and they were extremely grateful to receive my cane which is a four-footed, very sturdy cane, my later walker, and my manual wheelchair, which um, I only used a couple times because of it. I couldn't use it very well because of my hands. Uh, so I've going on with the letter, I letting them know where I live, and I have a thing on YouTube um, about things that I think to, should be changed, except especially the definition of mobility impaired accessible. 
I believe that it should be easily accessible because just because you can go around and up and down um, to get someplace or uh, inside may be accessible, but getting in there is not necessarily accessible. Um, and things about parking spots and sidewalks and ramps that are broken. Um, and I pointed that those kind of things out. Um, so I gave them my YouTube page and um, let them know I have written other people. Um, and I sent this letter to Senator Gillibrand, Senator Schumer, the um, governor of New York State, Kathy Hochul. Um, and then when I was doing some more research, because I was surprised that the post office, um, they have uh, ramps and they have parking spots, but you still have to go in and out by opening the door. Um, and then when I received that, I learned that they, they, they don't have to follow the ADA of 2010. They have to follow the Act, um, the Ar Architectural Barriers Act of 1968. I had never heard of this before, but I found information on it and read everything that is on the Access Board's website. And it states that the post office is among, among other federal buildings um, at, or federally funded uh, schools, housing, and facilities that they only need to follow the APA. They don't need to follow the, the ADA of 2010. And um, so one of my suggestions is to get rid of the ABA and add federal facilities to the American Disabilities Act and change it to, I don't know, 2024, 2025, uh, restate things. Uh, the Americans with Disabilities Act is when I say ADA, but it's also known as Title 42, um, which is less than a mouthful. One thing I did let them know, um, especially Congressman Tonko, is that I I'm not a lawyer, I'm just a disabled citizen, and I'm a, I have a bachelor's in English, a mass, uh, MBA in accounting, and a master's in adult education. I'm just telling you that uh, because I know how to read and understand the text of the app. I want to let them know that I was an educated person so I could understand exactly what I was reading and what it meant, especially to persons like me. And then I also sent the same letter to the New York State Department of State. As I mentioned, Congressman Tonko. And I sent similar letters um, to um, chain restaurants, um, Taco Bell and KFC, Subway, Dunkin' Donuts customer service. And I must say, I did receive a response from Dunkin' Donuts customer service um, they actually called me directly. They wanted to know, they re recorded the conversation. They wanted to know more details about what I had written in the letter, um, the, the Dunkin' Donuts that I had been to in my area. Um, and I could say that uh, there was at least three. And um, she said they were going to move uh, I, I don't know, claim or report to someone uh, higher. I, I forgot what she mentioned, company, but was going to also send letters um, to the franchise owners of the local Dunkin' Donuts um, about what I received. Um, I haven't heard any updates from them, but uh, I did give permission for them to you know, let me know if they're going to do anything about this issue. Um, I also sent a letter to the McDonald's Corporation. I have not received, as of this recording, I have not received a response. Um, I also sent a letter to Stort Shops, um, as they don't have accessible doors. And they have been uh, building 
or rebuilding um, stores to get rid of the the old look. They they're, they're making them bigger and brighter and getting rid of the the brick buildings and and making a lot of renovations uh, and updates to their stores because they are growing, but the doors are not accessible doors. So I have yet to hear from them. If anyone that I've mentioned in here responds, I will um, keep everyone updated. Um, not like I said, not everybody responded, good or bad. Um, but I'm starting a another list of letters that are um, going to go. Um, so that is um, what I have so far and any information um, that I get is, you know, I will keep everybody updated. Uh, if you want to, um, if you agree with some of my thoughts about the changes to the various regulations uh, and you want to write a letter, feel free to do that. Um, or let me know and I can help you. Um, I can give you the information of where to send the letters. Um, and I'm in New York State and I've been focusing on where I do and cannot go. So I have to excuse that. I should have muted, muted my phone. So anyways, um, you know, I want to if I'm able to, I want to be able to expand, but even in my area, there's a lot more for me to explore and I explore safely. So I just wanted to say, uh, you know, thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe. If you click the, the bell notification, you'll get notifications whenever I drop new videos. Um, I am continually um, looking out for the good and the bad, um, or not necessarily bad, but wrong way, uh, in my opinion, to do things. Um, if you want somebody like me to spend my money in your uh, um, your establishment, uh, allow me to come in. Anyways, this has been Amy Shannon for Exposed Mobility um, Impaired Denied, and I thank you. And be well and be safe.